Welcome back guys, it's Mad Star back again with another video and today we're looking at SoftBank SPAC. Um, this news came around two weeks ago and I'm just going to be giving my honest opinion of what I think about this SPAC and if I'm buying this SPAC and how you guys can buy this SPAC as well. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a huge thumbs up down below. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can comment me. I'm going to try my best to respond to everyone's answers. So let's get started. So right now I'm on CNBC Pro. I did make a review about CNBC Pro and if I like this and if it's worth 30 bucks a month. So go check that video out in my description. And um, with that, uh, we see here SoftBank SPAC launches blank check crazed company to join SPAC craze. So this news did come around on 21st of January. Oh, fuck. Uh, December. And now it's 4th or 5th of January, I guess. Um, so happy new year, guys. I hope you guys have a great year ahead. Um, and SoftBank plans to raise around 525 million to invest in a tech company. So a lot of you guys have questions around what type of company is this going to be? When are we going to find out what company this is going to be? So can it actually be SoftBank's like their own, one of their own ventures, like something like WeWork? Well, they, they did say on this website, I found that we are, we're not prohibited from pursuing an initial business combination with a company that is affiliated with our sponsor, officers, or directors. So they could do something from the vision fund actually, but they don't intend to do it. They say they, they want to buy a company SoftBank hasn't previously invested in. That's what Bloomberg reported. So they, they, they're they saying that they're not going to do something out of their vision fund, but they're going to try to find a new company. So this can be Tokopedia, any private company they want to get out to the public and raise around 500 million. So their SPAC did follow of two weeks ago. And as you know, these SPACs have a NAV value of 10, net asset value of $10. And the ticker symbol SFVAU, I believe, is set to start at $10. But if you go to one of your trading platforms or anywhere and you type in SFVAU, SVFAU, there you go. If you type that in, you're not going to find the spec. And that's because it's simply not there yet. So as of Sunday, I don't know what the date is, the first week of January, there is no spec there. They just filed for the spec. So this pack could come out anywhere this month, in my opinion. So you just have to be ready and alerted and have the money ready to buy this SPAC. Um, the, the trading platform I use is Tastyworks and Tastyworks always gets the SPACs out first. And also I think Robinhood, but some European ones like DGiro or some other trading platforms might not get it first. So it really depends on a trading platform. You might be lucky to get this first than other people. And the closer you get it to 10, the better it is in my opinion. If you look at companies like Perishing Square by Bill Ackman, which is raising around $4 billion, I think, that is trading at a 30% premium. It started at $20 NAV value, and currently it's at like 26 27 So it is trading quite a lot higher just with the expectation that it's a big person like Bill Ackman. So we want to invest in Bill Ackman. Um, there, therefore, I think Mayoshi-san, people have big trust and faith in him. And people are going to be ready to pay an extra premium investing in this SPAC. You've seen stock, a company like Virgin Galactic, VGAC. No, not Virgin Galactic. Richard Branson's uh, SPAC, VGAC, is trading at $11, which is 10%. But someone like Mayoshi-san, he's a pretty big guy. And he can, he's going for a tech company, which is pretty awesome. So I think the stock will probably be trading at $12 to $13 at least on the first to second day, in my opinion. Let's see what happens. But... That's what I think will happen. So where do I see the advantage here is if the SPAC comes out and you're alerted somehow that it's out and it's near the $10 value, I would put a lot of money in because the maximum risk you're going to have is $10, you know, so it can go minimum to $10 only after the merger can it go lower than $10 because there's a, there's like a NAV value, there's the asset value and you put money in and if a deal doesn't happen between the company or something, you get your money back. Basically, that's how it works. So um, 
will I be buying this pack? That's the biggest question and the question I ask myself. And the thing is that I really want to buy this pack. I am just waiting for this pack to come. If anyone finds this pack, please let me know down below in the comment section below. I would pretty much enjoy to buy Mayoshi San's um, company's pack that he's going to be merging with. I'm pretty confident he'll find a great company. If it's WeWork, that's kind of boring, but I mean, WeWork is fine. I guess they can make their business model a bit better. And I actually think WeWork is good for the future because people want to have remote working and many companies don't want to have everyday people coming to the office. And I'm planning on some sort of remote working and more comfy type of work. A comfy type of workspace so we work might be one of these um, platforms or companies the other one is tokopedia that they might be merging with it's like the amazon of indonesia but that's going to be going with peter thiel most likely in the rumors with P peter thiel's spec and that spec is already at 16 dollars it's ticker symbol btwn so that's that's ticker symbol so i don't know other companies that are private that this man can take uh, public but think about it, he's raising 500 million so it's not too big of a company like bill ackman's like unicorn he's trying to get so 500 million would be something not as big basically so that's where you can get a high return because it's not a billion dollar company i guess it's much below that uh, so with 500 million i think you can find a good tech company and um i think i would invest in Mayoshi san's business or spec and get out before the merger happens that's what i normally do i'll have to see which company it is but normally i invest in spacs i wait for the hype to come in the stock pushes up to like 15 20 dollars and then i take my money out that's how it works so that's how i'm gonna play this depends on the company but that's just my like advice for you all so I think this will be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my CNBC Pro review and whether it's worth $30 to spend per month. And other than that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.